Hello everyone, my name is Mukul and this is not the Deep Neural Notebooks podcast. This is a video where I'll be talking about how you can implement Zettelkasten in Notion. So let's get right into it. So what is Zettelkasten? Zettelkasten is a German word that means slip box or a note box. And it is essentially a tool that allows you to organize and structure your knowledge. And it was discovered by this person called Nicholas Luhmann. And he was one of the most prominent social theorists of the 20th century. So what's so special about a slip box or a note box? So the slip box or Lumen slip box consisted of a bunch of note cards. So every time he came across a new book or a research article or anything that he found intellectually valuable, he used to make a note of the most interesting and the most useful ideas and add it to the box. And so as he came across new concepts and new theories, he used to keep adding them to the box. So the catch here is that he didn't just keep piling up the notes one after the other and let it serve as an archive. But instead, every time he sat to add a note, he would first take a look at the contents of the slip box. He would see how the new note that he had taken, how it influences research and how it connects with all the other notes in the slip box. So notes that were constructed along a common line of thought, they were placed one after the other. He also used an index to maintain the different topics that had accumulated over time. And the contents of the index, they served as entry points to different threads of thinking. So over the course of 30 years, his slip box accumulated around 90,000 notes. And thanks to this continuous effort, he was able to write 58 books in 30 years, plus hundreds of articles. And he was also able to achieve his main project of life, which was to formulate a theory of society, which he called the Society of Society. So it just shows how effective the slip box was and how much it contributed to his success. I came across Zettelkasten in a book called How to Take Smart Notes by Songke Ahrens. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. The book talks about this idea of organizing your knowledge to the slip box, about how writing improves learning, and how this method of note-taking and cross-linking of ideas can enhance cognition, retention, and creative thinking, and eventually build a system that is far greater than the sum of its parts. I'll be making a separate video where I talk about the ideas presented in the book in a little more depth. This video is going to be about how you can implement Zettelkasten in Notion. I've been using Notion for the last six months and it is definitely one of the best note-taking apps out there. I use it for tracking my habits, for making to-do lists, for planning my YouTube videos, for journaling and all sorts of other things that surround my life. There is some discourse over the internet about which note-taking app best facilitates this networked organization of ideas and knowledge. Like there's this app called Rome Research that many people have turned to nowadays, which basically allows more of the cross-linking functionality between two nodes. But I've been using Notion for the last six months and so I am pretty happy with how things are. So I won't be switching anytime soon. So in this video, I'll do a walkthrough of how you can set up your own Zettelkasten in Notion. I'll provide a link to my Zettelkasten or the template in the description below. But I'll recommend you to go through the video so that you can get an understanding of the context of how I set things up, how things come together, how I manage entrance notes, how links are connected to each other and things like that. All right, then let's get right into it. So first we'll create a page named Zettelkasten. Um, I let it be an empty page. So I'll also add a cover and an icon. So Lumen used two boxes. One of them was the main box, which consisted of all the ideas and the notes that he took from the books he read. And there was the, this other box that basically stored the reference information for each book. So it was the bibliographic information for each paper or for each book. So we'll also create two boxes here. I'll, I will create two pages. So I'll also call this one as Zettelkasten and this one would be a gallery database. So we'll create, we'll delete all these existing ones here. Mm. So we'll also add the reference box page. This would be a table database. You can have it whichever way you like. So my first entry would be how to take smart notes, the book that I read recently. And now we'll add some properties to this item. So I don't need files, so I can change this to created time probably. And for tags, I can have productivity and learning. I'll also add a type property, which would represent which type of reference this is, whether it is a book or a research paper or a podcast. 
Right. So now let's add some zettles to our main box. And so for the first entry, I thought of making a zettle for the zettle casting method itself. Right. So for the properties I'll need here, tag seems good. Created is fine. For tags, it will again be productivity and learning. You can add whatever tags you'll feel like. And so I'll also like to create a user ID for each Zettle. And so a user ID is just a unique identifier, which will basically be the timestamp. So you can copy paste this in your formula. Right, so now we have a user ID, which basically represents the timestamp. So the next property that I want to add is the source property which would basically link this Zettle to a note in our reference box or a reference in the reference box. So this would be a relation property. And for this, I'll use the reference box database. Right. So now I can link my Zettle to an entry in the references box. So the source would be how to take smart notes. And this way, both of these items are linked. Right, so we have added our source and now one more property that I would like to add is source metadata. So this would help me know which chapter this specific, which chapter in the book this specific note relates to. And so this could be, I don't need to fill this up for each and every settle. So this would be empty. So now I just copy paste some information in the settle. And yeah, so we have our first Zettel ready and uh, yeah, you can edit what all properties you want to see here. For me, I've kept it as the tags are visible, the source is visible and we'll be adding some more properties later. But meanwhile, let's fill up our Zettel cast in a little bit more. So I'll be adding one or two more Zettels here. Right, so I've added one Zettel. And so both of these zettles are linked to our reference in the reference box. And if we go to the reference box, we'll see that this extra column has been added, which basically informs us about the notes in the main box that refer to this reference. I can remove these extra references here. And I can change this to cited in or referred in. So now we have two notes corresponding to this reference and let's just add one more settle here. I'll again copy paste the content from one of the existing settles that I have. So now we have three settles corresponding to one reference. So the most prominent feature of Zettelkasten is how it allows you to link different notes and create different threads of notes, threads of thinking and have different topics that can accumulate over time. So let's see how we can incorporate some information about entrance notes and see how we can link two notes together. So in my current setting, I'll want the first note to be the entrance note here. And so let's open a non-entrance note and see how we can link to the entrance note from inside this note. So we'll add a property, we'll call it entrance note. And basically this will link to an existing note inside this main box here. So this will also be a relation, but a relation to the same database. So it will be a relation to our Zettelkasten database. So in Notion, when you try to create a relation for the same database, it will give you this option and we'll go for the first one. So which basically allows bi-directional syncing. And so the entrance note for this note would be the first note, which was the Zettelkasten note, so this one. And since we've enabled bi-directional linking, so this has also created this extra property. And if we go back to the entrance note that we just mentioned, so here we'll be able to see which all notes consider this note to be the entrance note. So we can see this property has been added and we can change that to entrance note to so this works for me you can keep it whatever you want and since for me the third note would also have the entrance note as the first one so i'll also add it here so 
so from inside the first note we'll be able to see that the second and third notes are using this one as the entrance note so now we've got the entrance note sorted but at the moment our zettelkasten consists of just three notes so as our zettelkasten keeps growing we'd like to see all the entrance notes on one page so that we can then delve into those topics and so the way we can do this is we can create a, a separate view for that we can call it entrance notes and this will also be a gallery for me so we can create a filter here that helps us extract all the entrance notes and the way we'll do it is so we'll check for where the entrance note 2 is not empty so for all the notes that are being used as entrance notes we'll be able to see them here and let's go back to our original view and see how we can link two different notes so in my current setting i would like to link third note to the second note in a way that the third note succeeds the second note so let's go to our third note and this will be a little similar to what we did before and so i'll create a property called preceding note you can call this whatever you want it could be previous note or the note before or whatever you like and again this will also be a relation a bi-directional relation to the same database which, which would be zettelkasten use same thing both ways create relation and write so the preceding note for our third note would be the second note which was active inhibition and so now we can go in the second note and see which all notes succeed that note because this is being preceded so that would be succeed so now we can see that this is the note that is succeeding our current note and we can so then we can call it succeeding note And so this way you can open a note and see the preceding note to get an understanding of where the note comes from or what was the original idea probably. And yeah, and if you like, you can see the information about the preceding and the succeeding notes on the page itself. And that you can do that by editing the properties. You can make the preceding note visible and the succeeding note visible. That helps. And also the entrance note if you like. So as your zettelkasten keeps growing bigger and bigger, you'll probably have more children notes or non-entrance notes corresponding to each entrance note and you'll probably want to maintain an index. And so you can do that by opening your entrance note and then probably adding an overview section or an index section here. And then you can add links to the children notes in whatever format you like. So right now you can see the children notes to this entrance note but probably in the future you will want to organize them better and you can get that information from this index so here you can add any organizational information about the relationship between your entrance note and the children notes so i'll just create a random one here notes of type a you can create a toggle list here and here you can add links to the children notes i'll add the active inhibition note here which is the second note you can close this and create notes of type B. And you can add the third note here or whichever note you like. Just learning is enhancement in So this can help you when you have tens or hundreds of entrance notes and you want to probably have a neater organization and then you can come here and see create your own categorization or organization and so if in the future you want to dive into a specific topic or a specific entrance note you can just come to this page look at all the entrance notes that you have here open the entrance note look at the, the children notes to this entrance note and look at the index and see how the information has been organized in your zettelkasten right so this is my zettelkasten setup if you have any doubts you can put them in the comments below i'd be happy to help and I'll also put a link to this template in the description below so that you can follow along or create a duplicate of this template and make your own telecast. Alright then, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please press the like button and the subscribe button if you'd like to be updated about future videos. Thank you.